Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taste of whiskey.com and today we have the old Blantron, 10 years of age here on my cask. It's unchill filtered, 50% ABV, roughly 50 euros, slightly above probably. And the first time I had this whiskey was in 2013. The old Blantron I had well, well before but in 2012 or 2013, the 10-year-old appeared as a premium to the normal old brand run without an age statement on it. And this whiskey is produced in the Tomintau distillery, which is in the valley of the Livet, up the hill, up the river. And the name from this whiskey or for this whiskey comes from the Blantron burn or spring. And uh, this is in the Cromdale Hills, not far away, and close to the town of Tomital, where the distillery gets its name from. Um, there are three different types of whiskey from the Tomital distillery the normal Tomital, then the, uh, how it's called, the, the Peaty Tang, which is a gently peated. Uh, single malt whiskey and then the heavily peated single malt whiskey or brand run uh, which is hefty as Isla style. Yeah I like the the tube and the appearance of the bottle very very much because I like these brown tones uh, on the bottle because this shows the the barley shows the earth shows the fresh peat uh, than the people shown on the uh, on the tube uh, cutting the peat very very fitting to the mood and then there is this dark elegant bottle with a big tan on it uh, showing well now I have that age well uh, the whiskey uh, is a quite a time on the market and here they say color uh, rich gold Nose gently spicy, spicy with smoky peat reek, deliciously balanced by a sweeter creamy core. Creamy core, palates some gentle peaty smokiness, equipoised with a sweet creamy malty backbone. Finish climbing, finish of sweetness gradually replaced with smoky depth. So this is, uh, well. Should it be a creamy, gentle whiskey or a heftily peaty one? So the back is a little bit of marketing. Um, what's in this uh, bottle we will see soon. And uh, if it kept to the style I had uh, nine years ago when I tasted this whiskey first. Already smoke on the, on the cork. Intense, very intense. So this should really be the last whiskey in a flight of whiskies you might have in an evening or with friends uh, on a tasting. Yeah, this is hefty. The peat is in the air. Yeah. It's not this hospital disinfection, awful phenolic nose, no. And it's also not the cold bonfire. It's in between. It's friendly, it's gently uh, stinking, <laughs> no, uh, it's smoother, it's more comfortable than those typical rough Isla styles, yeah. In the back, a little bit of vanilla coming through, very little, and a little citrus note, but first it's it's smoke and it takes a time until you get this fainter smells through. And you do not smell a thing of the 50% ABV, nothing. Yeah, cheers. Mm -hmm. The 50% gives you a kick, then it's mouth-watering, mouth-cladding completely. 
but has a sweet creamy undertone and a light um, dry dryness so my tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth a little bit but the mouth watering is so strong that this dryness immediately moves or leaves place for the light sweetness and now a little bit of maltiness come through but the, the peat and the alcohol they are dominant yeah there is a oaky kick in it and I uh, looked up my old video from 2013 uh, unfortunately not in English and I feel that the oakiness is a little bit stronger than, than that what I described nine years ago so probably they now have better cast to choose from yeah so this is a a wonderful smooth but heftily smoky whiskey and that's not by chance. No, this is because Tomital is the gentle dram and when the ban old Berlantoran comes from the Tomital distillery it inherits all this uh, gentleness from the main spirit, the main raw whiskey and uh, the typical way of maturing the whiskey at the distillery. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come.